Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about bubbling versus capturing in JavaScript. So basically these are two different ways to define the order in which event handlers are fired off. And it's useful in cases where you have a parent element which also has child elements and they both have event listeners set on them. Okay, so let's see with an example. If I was to create a new paragraph tag inside this body, okay, and give it some dummy text right here. Let's just save this and refresh the browser. We get that right there. Okay, so now I'm going to add a strong tag um, to wrap the Ipsum text. And this will be our child element. Okay, so back inside here, let's put strong around the Ipsum. Okay, so now we have a parent paragraph tag with a child tag strong. Okay, let's save this and refresh the browser. This time we get Ipsum bolded. Okay, so now we're going to add event listeners to both the parent paragraph tag and also the child strong tag. And then play with bubbling and capturing to see the actual difference between these two. Okay, so back inside the code, let's just first give IDs to both the paragraph and the strong tag. Let's say P with an ID of parent. Okay, do the same thing for the strong tag, give it an ID of child. Okay, so now let's use these IDs to get references to both these elements in JavaScript. Let's make a new constant down here. So we'll say const and call this one parent equal to document.getElementById and pass in parent right there. We can do the same thing for the child tag. So child and then child. So now we have a reference to both the parent and child element in JavaScript. So now we can actually add event listeners to both of these elements. All right, let's add mouse click events to these elements. So we'll say parents dot add event listener. Okay, we'll add the click event right there. For the uh, callback function, let's just console dot log. I am the parent. All right, and we could do the same thing for the child tag. So we'll say child. So add event listener and pass in child right there. So now we have two click handlers set or two click events set on the parent and child element. If I was to save this and refresh the browser and then click on the, um, the strong Ipsum text, we get in the console, I am the child and then I am the parent. So we get child and then parent second. If I was to click elsewhere on the actual parent paragraph tag, for example, that right there, we only get I am the parent. So the child is not involved there, which makes sense. So this right here is an example of bubbling. We go from child up to parent. So bubbling and capturing are just a way to define the order in which the event handlers occur. In this case here, bubbling means we start with the innermost child element and then work up towards the parent. So we go child and then parent. This is in contrast to capturing, which goes from parent down to child. Okay. So back inside the code, let's convert this to a, um, a capturing order. So on the actual parent, parent element, Let's add a third argument to the add event listener function and we'll say true. So that third argument means do you want to use capture or not? So by default it's false, which means use bubbling. If you put true inside there, that means to use capture. Okay. So now we are using capturing for this event. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, this time if I click on that right there, we can see we get I'm the parent 
and then I on the child. So the order is reversed. Okay? So, just remember, bubbling means start from the bottom up to the top, and capturing means start from the top and then sort of like capture the bottom elements. Okay? And that is how you can use bubbling uh, and capturing in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.